quick question for you. What is, what is your hope for America? Um, well, I sort of just, I mean, look, my hope for America is this. We're about to celebrate our 250th anniversary uh, in 2026. And um, every generation has the burden on the shoulders to make sure that the democracy is thriving and improving. And then just like Joe Biden put the torch of leadership in a new generation, those of us who are, care about democracy have to put a functioning and improving, not perfect, but improving democracy in the hands of our kids and grandkids. And I believe we'll be able to celebrate America at 250 in 2026, feeling like we have done that. So you're up for re-election yes. this year. Tell me a little bit about how you think that's going to go. I feel good about it. You take nothing for granted. This will be my third term in the Senate, but 30 years in elected office. Um, we start voting in one month. In Virginia, September 20, we start early voting. So you really do feel like you're in the home stretch when you can say 30 days to the first votes are being cast. But I feel good about my race, and I really love the opportunity to serve Virginians. And there's a lot of things in the Senate I still want to get done. Uh, final question. If there's one big thing you want to see happen uh, it, before the election is over, what would that be? Before the election is over. You know, I guess something that will make, I want, to, I, I want Kamala Harris and Tim Walls to win. That's the most important thing. But if you set aside just the outcome, what I would love to see is young people very, very engaged. Because my experience from a, from a youngster to now is when young people engage, things get better. And when young people don't, things don't get better. So energy among young people is one of the measures that I use for whether, you know, whether the system is working the way that it should. And I'm feeling a lot of that now. Thank you, Senator.